of the day is just as the game started word came out that the Flyers made this deal as they acquire Jamie Drysdale highly touted right-headed shooting defenseman and a second round pick from the Anaheim Ducks in exchange for Cutter Gauthier the Flyers first round pick fifth overall last year who's having a great year at Boston College and comes off the great tournament over in Sweden we are joined by Keith I know this isn't the cover of the hockey news Jonesy but glad you could join us here in the booth to if talk. it was you guys wouldn't be in the picture <laughs> for sure that is absolutely for sure but a year ago I wouldn't have thought you would have been either but uh, congratulations on that but more importantly this trade which uh, I'm sure catches a lot of the fans by surprise because we've been talking about Cutter and watching him and thinking he was going to be a flyer especially with what he said at the draft talk about how this all evolved yeah he didn't want to be a flyer so we had to you know come up with a plan and fortunately we were able to execute on that plan his value would never be higher than it was after the world junior championships um, it was only going to decrease if the word got out there uh, i have to give a lot of credit to the people that we were negotiating with that they kept this quiet uh, it could have became a much more difficult yeah. situation so the other general managers presidents around the league were outstanding and keeping this a private matter pretty because, tough to do that these days yeah and right. the leverage starts to change in that case so uh, you don't want to be a flyer you're not going to be a flyer and uh, we were very pleased in the return that we got a player that we coveted and were searching for in Jamie Drysdale a right-handed shooting defenseman that was a former sixth overall pick uh, he's got skill and uh, we're looking forward to seeing him get into our lineup it'll be an emotional time in Anaheim for him he's an extremely popular player and a great person so can't wait to meet him you got Bob Murray the former Anaheim Ducks GM on your staff right now how comforting was that for you guys knowing that you had somebody who drafted this player in Jamie Drysdale uh, to make that trade and how long were you focusing on that particular player it's been months and Bob did have a, a huge part in it and watching him and especially in his return from a lower body injury this year um, his insight was really helpful knowing the kid inside out was yeah. really helpful uh, we have a great feel for Jamie Drysdale the person and we're well aware of what he can bring as a player and he's only 21 years old on the blue line it's really great what he's done so far in his career but I think the best is yet to come and I think you'll see a great improvement when he arrives here with a coach like Brad Shaw Brad Shaw running the defense he's done a great job in that regard helping develop our other players now Josie I know you talked to you about building teams for many years and I know this situation was forced by Cutter but you also believe you've got to build that back end so in a way it leads to what you wanted to do with this team correct yeah it's a big part of it uh, there's no question that that was our number one focus on the teams that we discussed uh, player for player type trades that was something that we were focused on and uh, we're really pleased with the return but what's this say about the direction the Flyers are going I mean a lot of people expected this crew to be sellers at the trade deadline yet you acquire a player not only for the future but for today what's it say about what this it, club has done so far to, to make a trade well, like the, this? The, the team has been outstanding and how hard they played for one another um, that didn't really play into this this was a unique situation that uh, was kind of thrown at us and we had to react appropriately um, but that was not based upon how the team has played this year. But uh, we're really looking forward to watching them continue to play as well as they have. And now we have another person to help us on the back end. All right. Well, Jonesy, thanks very much for taking time out to talk with us. Good to see you guys. Keith Jones, power broker.